She must be a real frostbite of a day out there today, because wow. That car. Okay, well, it doesn't sound like a diesel, but you know what I mean? Like, really didn't want to turn over today. Holy shit, are you serious? Oh, it's minus 15 out. I wouldn't want to turn over either. Anyway, people, it's Monday evening. Um, uh, yeah, we're going to head off to a crappy tire to scoop up the razor blade. Or, you know what I mean, that uh, saucer-like head shaver thingy that I showed you guys on yesterday's video. Excuse me, puppy. Excuse me. He likes to sleep on that pie-shaped part, can you tell? Because all the fur embedded into the freaking carpet. <sighs> so I don't know if you guys seen Rex 4x4's Facebook and or fan page, but one of these days he's going to have a video coming out, hopefully, of this. He basically converted his mini bike into a moto ski. I don't... a uh, mini ski? I don't know. I don't know what to call it. I'm going to call it the Baja mini ski. Uh, basically, he found a ski from what looks like an old snowmobile and adapted it to go where the front tire was on his mini bike. That's right. He says it drives pretty good, but you know what? I want to see a video of this shit. Uh, I've seen it done in the past. Uh, my buddy Jamie actually did it with a KTM 450, I think it was. But instead of using the stock back tire on the bike, he had this awesome, like, track that just bolted on and ran with the stock chain and all that shit and on the front he had a ski and I seen videos of him blowing through some soft powder and stuff on it and riding on the ice and surprisingly enough it stayed pretty vertical it wasn't floppy and that's the problem I always had with the mini bikes and you guys probably remember a couple years ago Adrian and I we built a track in the backyard we blew out this like path all around and uh, that was the year that I blew up the Aryans uh, probably because I came across some rough terrain that I probably shouldn't have blown through and it put stress on the front, whatever, it wrecked the front gears. Uh, the brass gear was shaved shit. So, well, that thing's gone to the scrapyard in the sky anyway, but anyway, um, but when I, I couldn't get my bike started that year and a lot of you guys gave me advice of like take a hair blower or a heat gun, force some hot air into the system get the engine warmed up and then try and start it and then once it's running under its own power it should stay warm enough to keep running right well I never did that holy shit I'm being attacked by animals it's a puppy it's a puppy it's a puppy oh, I found a spot <laughs> oh puppy when did you get the moose back that thing's been lost for a little bit I think well, maybe not but I digress the whole time that Adrian was trying to ride his mini bike around which is now Rex's mini bike around the yard um, he had to keep his feet down because the ass end kept trying to get a squirrely and get out from underneath him <clears throat> well his was pretty much stock except for that aftermarket torque convert or aftermarket gear reducer which was designed to give him more top end less bottom end and yeah so Rex has got a torque converter on it still the same engine I believe still that Six and a half horse, seven horse, whatever the hell it is. Uh, one from Crappy Tire. Can't remember the name now. I can't remember the name of their in-house engines. Uh, it's not like a. It's a Honda clone anyway. But um, same back tire that Adrian used in the backyard. Uh, so, and but Rex says she's pretty stable standing upwards. I'm anxious to see this. Like I've seen the bigger motorbikes converted into moto skis. Never a mini bike, so this is probably a first for YouTube. So he needs he needs to pitter patter and get that fucking video at her, cause that's gonna be gold right there. Hell's yeah! I was gonna go to friggin' crappy tire earlier today, but I decided to wait. And uh, sure enough, at around four o'clock, Oreo goes off like a fire alarm, like there's a package waiting for me. Because Dad was here to drop off this. Drop off this right here, the table mate. It's a TV tray for your couch. See, this is what I originally wanted for downstairs, for putting a laptop on while I'm uh, watching television downstairs. Something similar to this, because you see these bars down here? They're small enough where they will go right underneath my couch, as seen in the picture here, except for that chair is standing a lot taller. But it'll go right underneath, well, right there, 
we're going to need the couch. Because the problem I have right now, this laptop stand is, because it's on wheels, uh, you can't slide it underneath the couch. It doesn't fit. It, it hits the couch. So I was thinking about either lifting the couch to use this one, or I don't know. But that other table will do a lot better than this one here. And what's nice is, like this one here, if I want to lay down on the couch with my head there and watch TV, there's nowhere I can put this TV, this tray, where the item will, where, where basically it'll be in the way. With the other one, it folds flat, and I can just tuck it into the wall there, and I can see the TV perfectly fine, which is awesome. So that's what I'm thinking about doing is uh, we're going to build that TV tray, and this one here, I don't know where I'm going to put it. I might. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I might sell it, to be honest with you. Or, I was thinking, if it's possible, probably not. Yeah, it's not possible. What I was thinking was taking the uh, tray, having it go sideways, and putting it over here so it sits over top of the uh, the, the chair. But, uh, nah, fuck it. We'll, um, we'll probably sell this thing on Kijiji because uh, I don't really need it. Or I might use it. I don't know. Fuck. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> End of story. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. We'll figure it out. But anyway, people, uh, I'm just waiting for the car to warm up a bit so that we can uh, pitter-patter, head over to Crappy, and pick up that orbital head shaver. Uh, I talked to my, actually one of my buddies watched my video, and he's like, dude, I've had one of those for six months now, and he goes, they're, they're fantastic. They're, they're the bee's knees. He's like, literally, you fire it up. He goes, don't go too fast. Go slow and pass it over your head. And he goes, it'll give you a nice even shave. And it works awesome. He said the only problem is is cleaning it's kind of a bitch. Uh, but uh, cleaning any razor is kind of a bitch, I find. Especially if you use that oil on it and then all the hair gets stuck into it. And you're sitting there with the brush and you're constantly nicking it to take all the dirt out of it. And You almost wish you could take the top and bottom blades off easily. So you can get in there and really scrape it out, but yeah, it is what it is. So let's pitter patter, head over to Crappy, get the blade. Well, it must have already been 10 minutes because my car's turned off. Cool. All right, start this pig back up. Let's pitter patter. Alrighty people, mission complete. Took me a bit to find them. Oh, I don't have my seatbelt on. <laughs> Car's all like, you're not being safe and stuff. Before we go home, I'm gonna head over to A&W, some teen burgers, cause I'm in the area and I fucking love teen burgers. So, we'll pitter patter, get some teen burgers, and then we'll head her home and unbox this razor blade. How does that sound? You know, if this strip mall wasn't so full of stores and they had like a one little tiny shop area in here, it'd probably be a good spot to put a vape shop right across the street. Hortons, nice lot of parking. Not a lot of people out shopping tonight. I bet you the mall is probably just freaking packed though. But not a lot of people down here shopping at this strip mall. During the day though, the, 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 uh, the, the parking lots are pretty busy. Not so much at night. That's why I like going to Crappy Tire at night too, is like, holy crap. The, Friggin' parking lot, you could have been doing friggin' donuts in there and no one would have friggin' said boo. Oh my god, I just gotta make sure nobody's coming out here, alright? Yeah, like it was so dead at crappy tonight, like there was no custom. Oh fuck, I overshot. Oh no, I didn't. Um, yeah, it was super dead. So, it was perfect. Are you fucking serious right now? Come on, window open. The main problem with power windows, eh? Alright, let's get some bergs and let's fucking bounce. Thanks for cruising. What can I get for you tonight? Uh, can I get uh, two teen burgers? You want to drink with that for the meal? Uh, no, I'll pass. Not a problem. Anything else tonight? Well, that'd be all. Fuck, I love teen burgers. Where the hell do I drive up to? Over here. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna get our burgers, and then we're gonna head home. So I'll chat with you at home. Yeah, best meat to bun to condiment ratio burger on the market. The Teen Burger from A&W. Not sponsored. Alright guys, got you guys on the tripod. I was thinking we're doing it back there with the green screen background, but frig it, I'm lazy. You already know that. Anyway, what we got here is the Even Cup. Even Cup? No, the Even Cut by Con Air. Uh, this is that orbital shaver thing. Gonna do an on-screen in-vlog unboxing video. Yeah, boy. Let's do this. So, I'll go ahead and pop her open here. It's just... 
It's not taped shut or anything. It's just we've got one of these cardboard flappers. You open it up and inside it's got a bunch of stuff. It's got scissors and a comb and some oil and a really big brush to clean it. So that's pretty cool. Where's that a comb too? No, that's a brush. We'll open that up in a minute. And then it's got one of these like cardboard holder thingies and there's a manual in there too which I should probably read because this is both battery operated and cordless and then inside the box you get a um, power adapter and I was questioning if this is going to be like a USB jobby like a cell phone style because lithium polymer uh, what a better type of power to power that off of than USB uh, this is one of those adaptive rings that goes over your head and bah, rah, 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 grabs all of the uh, hair up to a certain length. Get a carrying case for traveling purposes. And of course, the PS, the resistance, you get the device. Here it is. And that's all that's in this box. Is uh, that's, that's it. Two adaptive rings. Um, the device. This one's already on it. And, um, oh, well, there's an unlock and lock. Oh, okay, so yeah, to take it off, there's a button right here that you pull it up and it unlocks it. Then you can take this off and put the other one on. Uh, from what I see here, oh shit, may have already broken it. Oh no, no, we're good. <laughs> uh, okay, so let me see exactly how the frig do we get this to go back on, like so. This thing has three settings, and I'll show you that here. You see it's like uh, setting one, two, and three. And then this ring here is number four. And I always shave on number three downstairs. So to get the number three, all you do is you pull this pin up. And then... Oh, fuck, I got this thing on backwards, don't I? One second. I pucked up. Oh, shit. Shit balls. So right now we're on number one, you pull this thing up, and you twist it out, and it locks in the number two, twist it out, locks in the number three. So that's normally where I shave, and inside there, there's your, your cutting tool. Now I don't think this thing has any power, but let's try it out. Okay, it does have a residual charge. I don't know how much power is in it. Uh, there's your charging port on the side, like I said, your power button on top. Uh, it looks like the whole top should light up, but I don't think it does. There are two battery lights here, uh, a charging light and a power on light. So when you do turn it on, that turns green. And then you, when it's turned on, you're... So let me read the manual and see how long it recommends we charge this thing before we use it. And we'll go from there. Yeah. Alrighty, well, before we even put this thing to work, we got to charge it up for 16 hours. Which means you won't be seeing a haircut on this video, but maybe on the next one. So, that's alright. Luckily, I, I, I don't need to, well, I need to shave my head. Look at this fucking thing. But, um, I don't need to shave it that bad. I'd like to, because it's getting kind of warm up there. And it'd be nice to have a shaved head, but, uh... Ah, if we gotta charge it, we'll take her downstairs, and they say even for your first initial use, don't use it plugged in. Let it charge for the 16 hours, and then they recommend you run it on the battery till it's fully discharged, and then you let it charge for another 16 hours, and you do that at least three times to reach battery optimized performance or whatever the frig. So, apparently you can take the battery out of this thing too. Um, I don't plan on doing that. I'd be interested to know what kind of battery it has into it though. If it's an 18650 or... Because fuck, if it's an 18650, I'll just drive a Sony into it right now and call her a day. Um, uh, operations. That's that shit. Uh, da, 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 da. Contains nickel metal hydride batteries. Must be collected, recycled, or properly. So you take the ring off, you take the blade off, and there's the battery. So it is just a standard AA nickel metal hydride battery. I was kind of hoping it was a lithium ion, uh, uh, lithium ion based E-Dart battery because that would have made life fucking hilarious because I would have just, you know, taken one of my Sonys and 
jammed it in there and been like, let's go, let's go cut hair. But it needs a specific battery that I currently don't have any of because I don't buy AA rechargeables because I barely use them. So we'll bring this shit downstairs, plug it in the bathroom, and tomorrow we'll do a haircut. Sounds good? Sounds good. Alrighty, well I got that thing downstairs plugged in, it's charging up. So we'll let it do its thing and I'm going to hop on TeamSpeak and see what the guys are up to and go from there. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Gotta love those super long live streams, eh? Huh? Nope, that's poop. Anyway, we just got, well, I just got done. Uh, because nobody else played along with me. We just played some Skyblocks. Feed the Beast presents Sky Factory. And did a super long stream of that. And uh, Logie was playing with me in the beginning. But he had to go to bed because he had to work at, like, fucking early in the morning plowing snow. And the rest of the guys went to play Grand Theft Auto, so... I figured, frigate, Solomon 5000, let's get this new server all christened and ready to rock. And we did. It's a pretty good time. Love playing new Minecraft, trying to figure shit out. Luckily, there was a few elites in the chat that were walking me through it. You know, apparently I was supposed to play the other Skyblocks first to figure it out, but I've been given a lot of tips and tricks, and that's the best part about streaming. Like I said, is not just putting on a show for the community, but the community obviously played this game before. The reason why they're coming to check out a complete and utter noob play it is not just to laugh at them, but to give them some advice. And that's what they did. As you can see, I still haven't shaved my head. And the reason for that is because this thing is still charging. Yup. Hopefully it's done by two tomorrow because I really want to blast my head. As you can tell, this hair is getting out of control. So it's going to be a good test for it. Some people said it sucks. Some people said it works great. You know, you watch different videos on YouTube. Some people, the people who have hair like mine, it seems to work good on. The people who have hair like, um, I don't know, like, like thin, fine, straight hair, it didn't seem to work well on them. It didn't really get the job done. It's like the razor couldn't find the hair to cut it. So that's where head clippers come in because it leaves, goes underneath and it lifts it up where this thing here basically doesn't do that. So, ah, fuck, we'll give her a go. If it's a pile of piss, back in the box it goes, back to crap tire it goes. Where's my dog? Oh, he's over there. He's just out of view. You have to open the door to see him. But, uh, I don't know why he's spending so much time out there. She's fucking cold, and his little paws there, those little pads must be getting a little, little frost burnt. He won't wear his boots, so that's out of the question. Put him on him the one day. Holy shit, was that ever funny watching him walk around the house. Sort of Christ, he was on the moon, lifting his legs like way up in the air and stuff. It was funny. One thing he loves doing is ramming his face into the snowbanks. You know, you ever been whitewashed as a kid? If you haven't, that's when somebody comes up behind you and grabs a handful of snow and just plows it in your face. I personally never enjoyed it. Been whitewashed many a times. I personally not face fuck a fucking snowbank. So why does my dog do it? Animals are weird. Right? You're freaking weird. Oh, got a shit. Oh, what do you think of that? What do you think of that? Scammers. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, people, I'm gonna do myself a solid and shut this down, edit it up, fire it up to YouTube, and I'm going to bed. Tomorrow, it's scalping of the fro, so until then, I've got to go. So, thanks for coming out for this video, or coming out and watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, you know where to put them. Down below they go. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.